Suggesting your loved one needs help is extremely difficult and awkward. It represents a change in your relationship. Previously, you were the child or grandchild. You love them, they love you. However, this conversation represents a change in the dynamic. From being the cared for to being the caregiver. If it is difficult for you, imagine how much more difficult it is for your senior loved one. However, having this conversation is one of the best expressions of love. It shows you want them to be happy and healthy for as long as possible. Correct care introduced at the right time will help stop a dramatic event occurring. I started Plan Life Care when I became guardian of my own mother. My contact details are at the bottom. Feel free to reach out at any time. Look at the bigger picture. It is likely the senior has good coping strategies in place for difficult activities. But are these realistic and sustainable? There might be an element of denial about the seriousness of the problem. It is important to review other indicators about the lo aging loved ones and around their house. First, give the senior a hug. Tell them you're thinking of their best interests, but also use the hug to assess the following. Uh, is there any weight loss or gain? Are they feeling frailer? Any strange body odors? Changes in appearance, clothes, facial expressions, and grooming? Review the social factors. Are they engaging with friends, with neighbors, and their church as before? Do they leave the house as often? Do they have someone that can assist or check up on them? Money management signs. Is there an accumulation of unopened mail, both an indication of money issues and also a tripping hazard? Personal mail also should be considered as this might represent a social factor. Unopened bills, are these getting paid? Are there overdue notices? Any other packages or unopened magazines? Are they subscribing to or buying unneeded items? Are there any new financial relationships, a new bookkeeper, insurance agent, financial consultant, lawyer? What is the reason for the change? Is there anything the aging loved one doesn't understand about what is happening? Be alert for fraud. Can you meet with the new person and stay informed? If that third party refuses to meet with you, be very alert. Look around the house, especially the kitchen. In the kitchen, look for expired, stale, or moldy food. Multiples of the same item. Are they repeatedly buying the same item and forgetting that they haven't exhausted the previous one? Are they eating just TV dinners? These are generally not healthy and could be a good indication they're not feeling well enough to cook. Are there any broken appliances or any signs of damage or fires? Look at the other areas. Is there generally clutter everywhere? Is there tripping hazards? Is there generally dirt or signs of lack of cleaning? Look at the pet and plant care. Are any pets being well cared, cared for? Look for dead or dying plants. House maintenance. Is there anything broken? Any leaks, dripping faucets, running toilets, newspapers in bushes, uncollected mail? These are all signs you should be looking out for. If the aging loved one is still driving, suggest they drive to a restaurant or library, etc. Take a look at the following. Any new nicks or dents in the car? Is, are the seatbelts being used correctly? Is there tension, distraction, taking a strange route or to avoid certain roads or junctions? Are they driving safely? Also remember that very slow driving is not safer and may also be a lack, a sign of a lack of control or ability. Does the vehicle seem well maintained and safe? If their driving is not safe, you must encourage them to stop driving. Tell them of plenty of great options to go car free, ride sharing for example. Uber specifically trains drivers on senior passengers needs. Points out that this removes stress and increases their safety. For the occasional driver, it is also cheaper to use ride sharing. Get other opinions. Talk to other family members. Talk to their primary care doctor. However, you will need your loved one's permission. Talk to friends and neighbors. Try to involve as many people and get as many opinions as you can. 
consider bringing in some professional help. If you believe the senior loved one needs help, there is often resistance. It will need, you might need to bring in a neutral third party. Plan Life Care offers free initial cons uh, consultations using a registered nurse. If necessary, to prescribe a protocol of home care if that is needed. Many other services offer similar. If the situation is approached medically, then home care is much more likely to be accepted. Home care is often a good starting point because the aged loved one is able to stay in the house. The change is less dramatic than recommending a move to assisted living. Thank you very much for listening to my short video. If I can be of any help at all, please feel free to reach out with the details shown on this slide. Thank you so much.